Recent rainstorms have led to severe damage at a world-renowned botanical garden in Montecito. And News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti joins us live to show us the damage. Patricia. Well, managers at Lotus Land are seeing thousands of dollars worth of damages across the garden, and they're doing everything they can to keep their doors open for the community. And you can see the tree fell, lifted the asphalt right next to it, and has caused quite a lot of destruction. This week's severe rainstorm has taken a hit for the world-renowned botanical garden Lotus Land in Montecito. We have had rains hit us, as everybody in Santa Barbara knows, in a way that is unprecedented. And what that looks like at Lotus Land is that we've had trees, beautiful specimen trees that are mature coming down. The Botanical Garden has estimated more than $150,000 in storm-related damages. We have oak trees and palms. We've had eucalyptus along the perimeter of the property, and they've taken our beautiful pink wall down with it. More than 100 years old. You can see we haven't had the ability to take out the stump yet. Some of the bigger, heavier stuff hasn't been able to hold up, so we've just been trying to take care of all that and, you know, make the garden safe for everyone. Managers at Lotus Land are projecting it will take at least several weeks for debris removal and overall repairs. A lot of our pathways had washed out. I think the trees falling, um, you know, it took out one of our fertilizer sheds, pushing a lot of projects back. This week, the storm has damaged at least 10 trees and seven plants. My hope is that the community appreciates what a treasure Lotus Land is and in our time of need is able to help us with whatever we can and then come back and enjoy this amazing garden. For more information on how you can help support Lotus Land, log on to our website. For now, live in Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti. Let's send it back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you for getting that message out, Patricia.